Beat Saber and BMBF have had many updates since my last tutorial. And although that may have caused minor changes only, I've decided to make a new tutorial to add a few things that I may have missed in the last one. And also, I'd like to save you guys from the possible confusion, especially those who are new to this. Step 1. Log into the Oculus website and create an organization. No one else can see the name of your organization, so you don't need to think of a fancy name, just a unique one. Step 2. Launch the Oculus app on your smartphone and enable developer mode. Step 3. Download and install ADB drivers. You can download it from the Oculus website or you can also check the description for the direct link. This is for Windows only. Mac and Linux can skip this step. Go to your downloads folder and extract the downloaded file. If there is no extract option, download 7-zip or WinRAR. Open the extracted folder and look for Android underscore WinUSB. Right-click it and install. If there is no install option, check this page I linked down below or you can also google no install option for INF file. Step 4. Download and install SideQuest. Go to sidequestvr.com and download your installer. Windows 8.1 and below are no longer supported but you can try a manual installation. You can find a link to this guide in the description. Step 5. Allow USB debugging. Using any compatible cable you have, connect your headset to your computer. Once the headset is detected, the connection status will change to this. Now put on your headset and you will see this message. Check the box and choose OK. Now it's connected. Step 5. Backup game data. This is optional, but if you don't want to lose your scores, I suggest you don't skip this. Go to Installed Apps. Click the gear icon for Beat Saber and click Backup game data. Step 6. Uninstall modded Beat Saber and BMBF using SideQuest. Skip this step if it's your first time to use BMBF. Click the gear icon for Beat Saber and click Uninstall App. Do the same for BMBF and the wrapper if you still have it. Step 7. Go to bmbf.dev slash stable and download the latest version of bmbf. The devs have released auto installers for some of the previous versions of bmbf and they might do it again in the future. So if you see other files in the download page, don't get confused and just choose the APK when following this tutorial. 
Whenever Beat Saber releases an update, you might want to check here first or join the Beat Saber modding group Discord to know if it's safe to update. And by safe, I mean you get to keep your custom songs because usually, big updates would mean a need for a newer version of BMBF. Not to worry though, the devs usually take only a day to release a new version. Also, modded games cannot be updated the normal way. If Beat Saber releases an update, you're gonna have to uninstall your modded game first, download again from the Oculus Store, and redo the modding process. Step 8. Sideload BMBF Click this icon and find the APK file you downloaded from bmbf.dev. Step 9. For old BMBF users, re-download Beat Saber, and when it's done installing, run it once on solo mode. Step 10. Install BMBF. Launch BMBF by going to your library and then Unknown Sources. The installer itself will guide you throughout the process. Click Settings and allow installation of apps from unknown sources. Just ignore this message and click close. This is the part that you've been waiting for. Scroll down and start downloading some songs by clicking the download button for each song. It's going to say failed if you keep clicking while the song is already on queue over here, but it will still be saved. After downloading songs, click the Sync to Beat Saber button. The songs won't appear in Beat Saber if you miss this step. Click the Playlist tab to check your songs. You'll see that BMBF automatically creates a custom song playlist. But you can edit the name and add more playlists, and move songs from one playlist to another. For old users, you can restore your songs that you downloaded with the previous version of BMBF by going to Tools and clicking Reload Songs folder. Then click Sync to Beat Saber. Start Beat Saber. and click Allow. So here are the custom songs. If you're wondering about your bot music packs, you didn't lose them. Just go to the Music Packs tab and download them again. You can also download songs conveniently and wirelessly using your computer by following a few simple steps. First, you need to be sure that your computer and headset are in the same network. 
Then open BMBF app on your headset, go to Tools, and take the IP address. And on your computer's web browser, enter that IP address. To download songs, go to beatsaver.com or bsaver.com. The songs come in a zip format, but you don't need to extract them. After uploading the songs, you should never forget to click Sync to Beat Saber. Last step, restoring game data. Open SideQuest and go to Installed Apps. Click the gear icon for Beat Saber and then this Restore button. Okay guys, I hope it's clear enough and let me know if it worked by leaving this video a like. And I would also appreciate if you subscribe.